Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for September 7th to the 14th. I'm Charlene Rosette. If you're new here, hello, hi, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. All right, let's see what's going on for you this week, okay? Seems like things are speeding up with that energy. Um, Capricorn, Page of Cups, Four of Cups, Five of Swords. What's with all the emotions, Capricorn? Uh, Six of Pentacles. Oh, see, this is why I don't do reversals because I have the deck upside down. I'm like, why are they all coming out like that? Six of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Lots of feelings. Queen of Swords. You're not even showing up here. I mean, other than the Six of Pentacles. You know, this week is calling for, and the Hierophant, the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're, um, the word I'm going to use for you, um, is you're in an energy of over analysis paralysis this week. I don't know if the Virgo new moon has an impact on you. It would have just happened on the 6th, the day before. Um, but I'm feeling like you need a lot of, you need to balance yourself. Okay, you need to balance your energy. All right. So I don't know if this has to do with relationships or not, uh, whether they be romantic or platonic or work or even the relationship that you have with yourself. The two cards you got for mantras, I'll show you in a minute. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this Pisces Virgo access is really impacting you, Capricorn. It, take a look at your astrology and see if it's activated something in your natal chart. What the hell is this? Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Relationships. I am attracted to those who serve me for my highest good. Okay, this is lovely. I love this. I got to tell you that because this is about you releasing any doubt that you have, trusting your intuition. If somebody doesn't feel in alignment with you, you're letting them go. You're not trying to hold on to outcomes, okay? Which is beautiful, but I think that there's also this energy of you kind of toggling back and forth. Like, is this wrong? Is this right? Am I doing this for the right reason? Am I doing it for the wrong reason? So on and so forth, okay? This Pisces Neptunian energy could be impacting you. It could be activated in your natal chart. Sorry, I wish the lighting would show up nicer. It's a very beautiful card. Eee. Okay. Um, Pisces is highly intuitive, highly creative, highly psychic. So see what house it hits in your natal chart. Um, it's also an energy sometimes of like delusion or putting those rose colored goggles on, like wanting to see things for what you want them to be, not for what they are. So I think this is where that whole doubt comes in, where you're like, is this really the situation or am I, you know, delusional, creating a narrative that's not true or whatever that may be for you, okay? Let's move on to the tarot. So you start off with the page of cups, which tells me that you may be receiving a message of some sort, but immediately, I don't know that you're going to accept it. I don't know that you're going to take it. I don't know if this is somebody coming in from your past. I don't know if this person is wanting to give you an offer. I don't know if this person is trying to make amends with you, but whatever they're offering, you're not taking it. You're not accepting it. You're keeping it at bay. It's almost like, Well then, okay, can I go back? I think that this is very urgent. I think that this is very important, this message that, that it's coming through right now. You're not sure about taking this. You're keeping it at arm's length um, and, and rightfully so, to be really honest with you, because I think that this person may be trying to offer you something that's disguised into something else. Why? because of that five of swords. I think that this person is trying to win you over or trying to get something from you just so that they can feel victorious or feel like the winner, forgetting that other people are will or could be feeling um, sadness around this, okay? I think you're I think you're going to be very emotionally driven this week. I'm not going to lie with the Pisces here or this relationships now and lots of cups cards too. There's a lot of feelings here. A lot of feelings. Um what I will say though with the 6 of pentacles is the universe is asking you to ask yourself whether or not the situation is balanced. 
Is the situation balanced? Does it feel balanced? Does it feel equal? Does it feel fair? Does it feel right? Okay, those are the questions you have to ask yourself. And if you're answering no to any of those, then you know immediately that this is not somebody that needs to return back into your life. With this Queen of Swords, I think that you will turn around and say, no, thank you, goodbye, have a good day, bye-bye. Because the Queen of Swords is an energy of somebody who has faced a lot of adversity, a lot of difficulty, a lot of challenges. But what they've done is they've been able to um, turn that adversity into opportunity because they learned the lessons. So I think you've learned the lesson from the situation. So even if you're doubting a little bit, the doubt kind of subsides into the reality, right? Into where you turn around and go, mm, no, I don't think I want this. Finally, with the Hierophant and the Eight of Swords, I really truly feel like this person will try and offer something to you, but then it'll just go back to the same old. It'll just go back to the same old, same old. Um, I, I think that what will happen is this person will try and like pull the wool over your eyes, but you know that going back to them means repeating the same cycles over and over and over again. Now, if there was, I don't have it here. No, it's over there. Darn it. Okay. So if there is a crystal that I can recommend for you, it's going to be a mazonite so that you can speak clearly and speak with integrity or, uh, um, blue lace agate this is what it looks in the bead format okay this is a necklace I created called Pax all right it's available on the site in the description box below there's also a um, blue lace agates also found oh, blue lace agates also found in priestess okay I think blue lace agate and amazonite play huge roles um, or can be very supportive sorry for you this month so if you want to shop over at starseed jewels I create crystal jewelry modern day amulets take a look at the description box below um, this piece as well, eshell, okay, and blue lace agate. These two pieces, um, and if you're into necklaces and want to splurge, this beautiful necklace with this uh, gold chain here that's got a um, gold filled, so it's one of those necklaces. I can never do my nail my nails. I like ruin my nails every time I try to do this. Anyways, um, for, it's a gold filled uh, chain with all the beads. All right, and if you want to book a live one hour reading, take a look at the description box below. I'm going to move into your love reading now. I don't know if this is about love, but it's about relationships, period, right? Which can be with family. They can be a plethora of different people. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. We're going to take these four because they showed up. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Keep an open mind. Heart to heart conversations. Oh, you got lots of extra ones here. Passion. Okay, this could very well have to do, this situation could very well for some of you have to do with romance because we have so many romance cards that came out. The Nine of Cups and the Hermit. Maybe with a Virgo for some. The Hanged One. Yeah, um, the Knight of Pentacles. I don't know if this has to do with the fact that like you may want kids or you may be a single parent or you might not want kids. It's something to do with children. You got death here and the three. Yeah, so passion, oops, Jesus. Passion um, got death. So I think this thing has fizzled. It's run its course. Um, I think one or two of you, either of you want children. I don't know which of the other ones do or you have kids and there's, a difference in, in, in fundamental views and perspectives when it comes to children. Heart to heart conversations and the three of pentacles. Um, I think you're gonna talk, I think there's conversation here to be had. If, if you're in this situation, if you're single, I think it's really about clearing the stagnant energy, okay, before moving on to love. I think it, this is, with the hermit and the nine, this is very independent energy here, okay? Even though these imageries have multiple people. I feel like this is in the hanged one. Yeah, it's almost like if you're single, this isn't a week that you're going to jump into a relationship. This is a week where you're going to focus on healing and focus on your money. Wow, because the wheel turns. All right. Okay, Capricorn, if you want to shop over at Starcy Jewels or if you want to book a live one hour, take a look at the description box below. Thank you so much for all your support, your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.